All right, we are here on deck five or the main deck on Carnival Paradise. We are gonna go take a look at an Ocean View cabin, cabin M269. This cabin does look off the back of the ship. Let's go take a look. Here we are inside cabin M269. This is an aft facing ocean view cabin. Immediately to the left, after entering the door, we have some shelving space. Which contains your safe. On the bottom, we have two drawers. Which also have your light switch into the room. You have your snooze sign. So basically, if you do not want to be disturbed, put that outside your door at night. Very important safety information on the door. And then immediately to the left of the door, where you have my lanyard, but it's hanging on a catch for the door, which could also double as a hook when you're in the room and you don't need the door to open. You also have the switch for the bathroom. Go ahead in there in just a second. Across from the bathroom though, before we do that, you have two closets. The first one has life jackets and essentials on top. This first closet is great to hang up, something like a t-shirt that doesn't really require a lot of space. As you see, we have a shelf below the hanging space for storage. I'm just using that for my backpack and sort of souvenirs. And then of course on the bottom, another spot for storage, which is great for shoes or whatever else might fit down there. Your other closet contains a full-length mirror. Hello. This closet also has plenty of hanging space with no shelves to get in the way. We'll come back to the other stuff in the room in just a second. But first, we'll make a turn around into the bathroom. Here is your shower. Of course, the carnival body wash shampoo. You do have a clothesline on the back. This ship does have shower curtains instead of doors. One little tip or trick, if you will, that I learned along the way is if you place some clothespins on the bottom of the curtain, if they're showing up or not, but if you place a couple of them, I usually put one on like each end and one in the middle, it helps weigh the curtain down so it doesn't like balloon into the shower or balloon out and then cause a flood in the bathroom. Just something to keep in mind if you are sailing on this type of ship or a ship that comes with a curtain, just a little trick I've learned along the way. Next up, we have the sink. And above the sink, there is a shelf for storage, along with the bathroom mirror. Hello. Next to the sink, you got your throne. Plenty of room for towels, and of course, plenty of towels. Continuing on, we come into the main part of the room. We have a desk with a little mini bar. Now, bear in mind, these water bottles are for purchase. So if you open them, you gotta pay for it. If you are a red card holder, your VIFP benefits do entitle you to a bottle of this size from the bar. So stop by any bar and they'll be happy to hook you up. You do have two shelves for storage, as you can see are being properly utilized. Plenty of desk space, and got a little friend hanging out down here as well. There is plenty of information as well as the remote to the TV. Also your phone. And if you do want the room service menu, this has changed. You have to scan the QR code and that will bring it up on your phone. It's probably also in the hub app as well somewhere. Below the desk, you have a little stool. And then over here, we have the bitty fridge.
And in this drawer is where you can find your hairdryer. You have a little nightstand with a cabinet below. Here is the main feature of the room, the towel animal on the bed. This guy is very important. You gotta love the towel animals. Anyway, moving on, next we have our bed. This is a queen size bed, but as always, it can be split into two twins, just depending on your travel needs. You do have two hooks up on the wall. You have plenty of room here, kind of navigate around the bed. You got your TV. On the bed itself, you've got two lights. Now those are part of the main lights of the room, the ones that are on. There are reading lamps below those, and there is a switch to turn those on. And then over here is the window looking out. Gives you an idea of the view right now. There are also a couple of USB ports next to the bed, which is always great to see. So one last thing I have not shown off. You might be wondering, where's the thermostat? Well, on these older ships, it works a little different. So your air controls are actually in the ceiling. So as we kind of pan up here, you can see that little knob in the vent. You would actually use that to adjust your airflow. Personally, I have not had a need to kind of mess with that. I thought the temperature in the room was just fine. But if you do see the need to adjust that, that's how you can do it. This has been a look at Cabin M269 here on the Carnival Paradise. As always, if you like the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. And of course, ring the bell to stay up to date with all of my latest adventures. And until next time, this is Matt signing off. Have a good one.